Today, what we are going to do, we're going to do a scavenger hunt. And your scavenger hunt is on outstanding African Americans, okay? In this Milwaukee classroom of 5th and 6th graders, teacher Dina Blue is conducting a lesson she calls African American Scavenger Hunt. She's about to use this course in self-paced mode, which allows students to work through a series of questions or activities at their own pace, either individually or with partners. Earlier, Ms. Blue used discourse to prepare a series of questions about prominent African Americans that the class had studied. Now, the students must use those hints and conduct their own online research to answer the questions. Question two. How many different occupations did George Washington Carver have during his life? You are to name three of them. Discourse can be used with all teaching styles. In self-paced mode, the teacher can monitor each student's progress from her computer, viewing every child's response as it's typed. In 1988, Arthur Ashe received news which changed his life. What was he told? Today, Ms. Blue gets more actively involved, announcing the questions, offering guidance, displaying selected answers, and stimulating class discussions. Who was known as the little man's lawyer? As part of their research, Ms. Blue's students use the Discourse web travel feature. Students see and respond to the questions on one side of their screen and explore a website on the other. It seems like when I have my children actually using the internet, for them, so many of them, it's so hard to actually find resources, to actually find answers. So what I do with the computer is, with um, Discourse, is that I actually go and find a website for the students to use. And I actually take it and I incorporate it into the website so the question is there for them with the website where they can easily find an answer at. As with all Discourse activities, student responses in self-paced mode can be scored automatically and the children can get instant feedback about whether or not they've answered a question correctly. Each student's work, along with reports about the class as a whole, can be saved for later review. And the one thing you must remember, you need to be writing in complete sentences. The goals of this morning's lesson go beyond historical knowledge, extending to other subjects and skills as well. Um, today's lesson, we were doing an African-American scavenger hunt, so what we were trying to do was I try to incorporate different um, aspects of social studies. So I wanted them to actually do a little bit of reading so I can get the reading inside of that. They have to have the writing skills for it. You know, I want them to learn how to skim the material. So it's kind of a variety of everything they were doing that we've been learning over the course of the year. With the class period drawing to a close, the students log off and put away their computers. This afternoon, they'll continue the scavenger hunt on their own, picking up right where they left off. For Ms. Blue, who will review her students' responses later, the self-paced activity allows her to give each child a way to show what they know. But it is very effective when they're self-paced because some move much faster than other students in the classroom. So when, they, when they're on a self-paced mode, they're able to work to their best ability and get what they can done. And with me allowing time in the afternoons normally to continue work, everyone still has the time to you know, get adjusted, get the work in, have everything completed. So self-paced is pretty good for this type of lesson.